What's up YouTube? This is Sars here and today I have for you a rating guide. This will be a healer's guide to Hagara the Stormbinder, which she can be found in the new Dragon Soul raid. And this will be for 10 player normal mode. All right guys, and one of the first things that I will do here to start off is to go over some of the most important abilities that you really have to watch out for when you are healing on Hagara. Uh, one of the first abilities that you'll see is something called Focused Assault, where Hagara will take her axes and attack at a very, very fast rate. Uh, I believe it's two every second at 50% of normal power. And uh, so obviously um, the tank is going to be taking up uh, an extreme amount of damage. Um, I, the tank can move back from it um, to get away from it, but um, you know it takes reaction time to be able to do that. So um, be prepared for the tank to be taking uh, a, a lot of damage at that point. All right, the next ability that we're going to be looking out for here is Ice Lance. Um, basically, Hagar will be summoning um, some crystals around the outer edge, and they will be honing in on a random player that is near Hagar. Um, we'll be shooting these ice missiles at that player, which deal 15,000 damage and an area effect of 5 yards, which is also why the tank um, can be taking a lot of damage during this point if they're all hitting um, within 5 yards of the the tank that's just added damage um, that he'll be taking also. So yeah, that's... Uh, and also another thing about those is that um, someone, a player can step in the line of fire um, where the missiles are coming through and intercept them. So um, that way everyone doesn't have to take um, all that damage right there in the center. And people can be intercepting them towards the outsides and, and that will hopefully get some of that damage there in the center. All right, the next ability that we're going to be looking at here is Lightning Storm, which will be the second phase here, phase 2A, we'll call it. Um, and at the beginning of it, um, she summons a, an elemental, which needs to be brought to the nearest um, conductor post that you can see there's four of them there protecting her from the Lightning Storm. And you need to kill this elemental near the post. And um, I'm not sure how close the thing is to be within eight yards of the post, I believe, to and it will basically overcharge the post and then it will begin chain lightning to people within 10 yards and what we did was we had group one split off and go clockwise, group two split off and go counterclockwise and you have to stay within 10 yards of each other and within 10 yards you gotta hit these pillars and when you hit all four of them they all get overloaded and um, at that point Hagar becomes stunned and she takes 100% increased damage for 15 seconds. Um, healing in this can be a little tricky, especially as a Holy Paladin, because um, you don't have a lot of heals you can do on the run. So yeah, just try and have Light of Dawn ready, have your Holy Power up to be able to use that, and also I used Holy Radiance whenever we stopped, also that helped. Alright, this next ability we're looking at here is Shattered Ice, which is very simple. Hagar launches a Blast of Ice at a random player, dealing 78,000 frost damage and reducing the player's movement speed for 4 seconds. And as you can see here, um, this happens to our priest there in the top right hand corner of uh, my raid frames. The next ability that we're going to be looking at here is called Ice Tomb. And basically for this, um, Hagara is going to trap two random players in a tomb of ice, um, which will lock them in place. They can't do anything. Basically they are stunned um, until other players break them out of the tomb. Um, you do have to be careful because as a healer, um, the ice tombs will block line of sight. So you got to be careful and make sure, you know, you don't get between, um, or you don't have one between you and the tank, um, or anyone else that you're trying to heal and, um, pretty much just break them out as soon as possible. And, you know, for the DPS and normally, um, break the healer out first. And, um, if it, if there's a healer trap to make them priority and, you know, then get the DPS out. Alright, this next ability that we're going to be looking at here is Frozen Tempest, which will be trigger, triggering Phase 2B. Basically, um, she will be filling the platform with water and ice, and um, this big bubble that you see there in the middle, um, essentially if you're inside of it, you're going to take 15% of your maximum health every second. So yeah, don't get inside of it. Also, she sends out four spiky waves of icy death at you. Um, basically, if you get hit with one, which I'm about to right here like an idiot, um, which honestly, I don't think I was close enough to, but apparently the game thought otherwise. But yeah, 
if you get hit with it, it is going to do 200,000 frost damage to you. Um, it really is probably going to be a one shot most of the time. I don't know how mine wasn't, but but hey, I got lucky. Um, also, these little bluish whitish um, glyph looking things on the ground here um, is where icicles are going to fall, which those would deal 100,000 frost damage. They're not as bad, but still definitely stay away from them. Um, also, these four things channeling um, into Hagar in the center are these the four. Uh, they're crystals that basically you have to kill um, and if, if you kill all four then it will stun Hagar again causing her to take 100% increased damage for 15 seconds um, so as a healer I guess you know you're not really worried about that too much but hey you may as well smack one while you're running by and, and uh, you know press holy balance get some mana back now that we've looked at all the abilities that Hagar is going to be throwing at you during this fight now let's take a look at the actual fight and uh, see how everything works out all right, here we are having just pulled the boss, and Hagar is already getting right into things there with her double axe flailing nonsense there with focused assault. You can also see um, the crystal ice shard missiles that are um, launching into the center there. Um, and there's the, the axe that's going crazy again, you can see at the center. All right, that's me right there taking damage from shattered ice there and getting dispelled there right quickly. Um, into the first uh, lightning phase here, which um, lightning storm, and we're all going to meet up here on triangle. Get the elemental um, to overload the one power uh, node thing, Majiggy there, and then group one's going to run off to the left, and group two's going to run off to the right. And um, we're going to overload this one there, and then move on to the last one up here, and once we channel in and overload this one uh, then bam she's taking 100% extra damage there in the middle <clears throat> all right here comes ice tomb I'm um, get a nice warning there deadly boss mods and you can see two blue arrows over the people's heads there and there they are, there's the ice tombs, and um, we also have a skull and X up here um, on our raid frames, um, but uh, you may or may not have that, uh, so you just break them out as soon as possible, make sure you listen out for who's the priority of the call over event. There's uh, our priest there getting hit by the focused assault, going down, getting dispelled. another lightning storm so once again we're all gonna meet up here in the green which this you know could be anywhere but in general we found that elemental spawns right near here I'm not sure if this is by chance or if this is something that always happens um, but it's worked out for us so we always overload that one right there by green and, and uh, go around the our separate ways from there and um, you know I'm trying to heal up as much as possible here um, it is kind of difficult, but I have, you know, I have my one nice instant AOE hill there, there that I can use, and then as we stop at each one, I'm also hitting the, hitting them with the Holy Radiance, so. I'm not up in the middle, and there we go. Um, and this is where we blow time warp right here, looks like, yeah. She's taking this 100% uh, increased damage here. And as she comes back up, you know, we we'll get get more of these ice lances coming in. Uh, two more ice tombs are going out right here. And I saw them coming in, so this is where I moved around to make sure I didn't get line of sighted from the tank because that could be extremely dangerous during focused assault, uh, especially also with the ice lances going on. Um, and there you hear call over vent, um, getting the healer out first. Um, which is good to make sure people don't die. All right, here comes our first ice phase, Frozen Tempest, and um, there's these those four things you have to destroy on the outside there, channeling in towards protecting her. Um, 
you've got the the icy spikes of death and then also the icicles raining down and as I run by these things I'm hitting them with judgment and smacking them on the way by okay, grabbing a little mana bank there like any good holy pally would and there we go destroyed all four and she becomes stunned taking an extra 100% damage for 15 seconds and I just kind of hang out regen some mana I see them coming out again, looking for the blue arrows. I see them over there on the kind of right hand side of my screen coming in. And move to the side to make sure you don't get line of sight. This is a pretty hectic fight healing tank. Um, you never know uh, as soon as that focus assault hits. I mean, they. they tank just gets absolutely well on. We have a pretty well geared tank too and he just got absolutely destroyed by that focus assault. And the lightning phase. Pretty much whenever you see the next phase coming you know you're gonna have to run out to the outside so that's good to go ahead and do that. Meeting up over here by green to kill the elemental. to the different lightning conduit and overloading them and once we overload the last one here she becomes electrocuted and goodbye to her little bubble 100% increased damage once again and this will be enough to take her down pretty pretty low here All right, guys, and yeah, you know, that pretty much covers everything. Um, she's getting ready to go down here. Um, once again, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would like and subscribe, of course, as always, you know, that's much appreciated. And uh, keep doing what you do. Have a good day.